Hey everyone, Chrissy from Build a Wellness Blog here. Just going to walk you through how I write a blog post using Jasper, formerly Jarvis. So I always start with keyword research. And this is one of the things I think a lot of the people in the Jar, sorry, Jasper Facebook group will complain about their posts not ranking or not doing well and they're kind of missing this crucial step in the process so what you want to do for keyword research is use a tool i use key search and you want to search for things that people are actually looking for online but that don't have a ton of competition so you don't want to write content that nobody is actively looking for and you also don't want to write content that is super duper competitive so here's an example i typed running hacks into key search here and i see that it gets 140 searches a month us volume um, so it's a little bit larger global you can change this to all locations the reason that i have it set to us is because I focused mainly on ad based revenue for this particular running website. And um, I like to get an idea of what kind of US traffic is going to be coming to it for that, since for most of the ad networks, they do uh, focus on US based traffic. So uh, I see that Running Hacks here has 140 searches a month, a competition score of 32, which is considered easy moderate. If I take a look at the top 10 results here, I see that there are two sites with uh, some lower domain authority sites in there. So this tells me this might be a good keyword for me to potentially write about. Now, my site is fairly established within this niche. So I think it could be a good option. I could be competitive with what is already ranking here. And as you do this more, you'll get to know some of the other people that are in the field uh, that are similar bloggers within your niche. And you'll start to see them pop up in the results a lot. And you kind of understand, oh, okay, like if they're ranking for this, I probably can rank for this too. Now, 140 searches a month isn't a ton. What I might do is go over to the related keywords here and filter this by volume and just look through and see if there's anything else that I might want to write about related to running. Um, so maybe like pre-run stretches here. I'll check what the competition score is because volume is a lot higher, 3,600. But we can see here competition score of 52. If I look at these top results, I'm seeing all pretty high domain authority sites. It's unlikely that I would be able to rank in those results. So this is kind of the evaluation process you want to do before you even get over to Jasper because this is what's going to help get you content that is actually ranking so for today i'm not seeing anything else um jump out at me you know right away so i am going to write that running hacks post even though it's only 140 searches a month i know that there'll be some uh related variations in that keyword and it's something that i think would be a fun post to write about and relevant to my niche I also think that it is a post that will do really well using AI. Uh, the reason for that is AI tends to work well with general topics that don't require a ton of scientific research or scientific validity. Uh, it also tends to work very well for like list style posts or how to posts, things along those lines. And this fits really well if we do, you know, 10 best running hacks or something like that. So once I'm in Jasper, what I'm going to do is click on the long form assistant here. And I like to use the blog post workflow. And you are just going to tell Jasper exactly what you want to do. So let's see, write a blog post about the best running hacks. Pretty simple. We'll use running hacks as our keyword and then we'll hit continue. And now we can generate title ideas. So it's going to give us a handful of different title ideas that we can use. So I like this one, 10 running hacks to help you improve your performance. I think that's a good title. Now we'll go ahead and generate ideas for the intro paragraph. Again, you just click the button. It's going to come up with three different ideas. And if you don't like them, you can click generate more ideas. Let's see. Do you want to run faster and longer? Are you looking for running hacks that can help improve your performance? uh we'll use this but we'll probably edit this one a little bit all right so now that we have our setup we're going to open the long form editor here now some of what you'll see in 
these intro paragraphs are in the content that Jarvis or I'm sorry, Jasper, I keep saying Jarvis because that was the old, old name of it, but some of the content that Jasper generates might not be ideal. Like I generally don't say things like in this blog post, we will discuss, you know, that's not really my style. Uh, so I might take that out there, but you can kind of play around with the wording there. I really just want to get across how to get the basic draft of your post done quickly here in Jarvis. So we've got a basic uh, intro paragraph here. And now you can go about this two ways. You can either create your own outline using H2s and let Jasper create the content for each subsection, or you can just kind of click compose and see what they start to write about. So if I I like to do longer outputs, just personal preference. If you're worried about word count, you can keep it on short or medium. Um, so I'm just going to hit compose and see what we come up with here. Okay, so it's starting by just giving some paragraphs about nutrition and hydration. So what I might do is start to come up with the types of hacks that I want to utilize and let it write about those. So let's say hack number one, uh, eat to fuel your body. Okay, I'm going to make that an H2. So pre-run snacks. Okay, this actually sounds pretty good. Hack number two, hydrate properly. Take that out. And I'll, I would work on these a little bit more in depth, but for the sake of kind of a quick demo here. Uh, so maybe hack number three is run slower to run, run faster. So I'm going to create a heading with that. And now I will go ahead and click compose. And now we see that Jasper's kind of gotten the outline structure that I was thinking of, and we can kind of keep hitting compose here, and it'll keep working in this structure of, you know, hack number whatever, providing a paragraph, hack number whatever, providing a paragraph. So um, you can get through quite a bit of content pretty quickly here. And you can decide, you know, what you would want to keep here and what you would add in. I always recommend adding in your own viewpoints, experiences, expertise, case studies, data, anything like that. Um, so making sure that you incorporate that, making sure you do some fact checking because not everything is going to be ideal. So like even this up here, you know, whole grain bread isn't a good source of carbs and protein, but we could change that to, you know, a turkey sandwich on a bulky roll. With, we'll leave that yogurt, with fruit, something along those lines. So you just want to fact check it and make sure that everything that's in here is actually correct. But you can see how it kind of quickly pulls together you know, a very rough draft of what you are wanting to write about that then you can go in and put additional content, additional resources. Maybe you quote some research studies in these and you basically add to it. Uh, so I don't want you to think of Jasper as just a way to bang out a post in five minutes and boom, you're done. But it gets you this nice, easy outline that takes away some of this mental fatigue and then you can go through here, use what you want to use, cut out what you don't want to use, add in your own flair, uh, and then take it from there and go ahead and, you know, really polish up a great blog post for the topic. So I hope that this helps. More than happy to answer questions uh, on the blog post that this is embedded in or right here on YouTube. Uh, let me know if you have anything I can help with.